In this video, we'll write the formula for barium phosphide. So barium is right here on the periodic table, and then phosphorus, that's right here. So this is a metal, and on this side we have the nonmetal. Metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. We do need to consider the charges here when we write the formula for barium phosphide. So let's first write Ba, that's our barium, and the symbol for the phosphide, that's the phosphorus, that's P. We'll then write the charge for each of these elements. So we can see barium, group two, everything in group two is two plus, and the phosphorus over here, that's gonna be three minus. So right now we have the charges, but this isn't the correct formula. These charges should add up to zero. We should have a net charge of zero because barium phosphide, that's a neutral compound. We can use a little bit of a trick though to write the correct formula called the crisscross method. We can take a two, put it there, three, put it there, get rid of the charges up here. And that is the formula for barium phosphide, Ba3P2. But we should check our work, make sure that we have the right formula. So let's go put the charges back, group two, barium, so that's two plus, and we said phosphorus, that's the three minus. So all the barium atoms, the charge on the barium atoms, should cancel out the charge on the phosphorus atoms. We should have a net charge of zero. Three times two plus, that's six plus, two times three minus, that's six minus. So six minus and two plus, that adds up to zero. So this is the correct formula for barium phosphide. Let's clean it up a little bit and we'll get rid of the charges here. And there you have it, the formula for barium phosphide, Ba3P2. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.